Hey guys, my name is Hiroko Murakami. I'm here with Nova Edge Academics, and today we'll be tackling on A4 Rigid Body Mechanics Past Paper Problem. Now, the benefit of tackling a past paper problem is it prepares you for the exam with the right level of difficulty. Textbook problems are very useful, but they lack in the difficulty that you need to expect. So um, pause the video and give this a try and see if and see how ready you are for the exam. Okay, so what's really important here is to first recognize that the bucket is not going to fall at the gravitational acceleration. That is simply not the case. Why? Because there is a resistive force by torque or by moments of inertia due to rotation, right? So there's going to be mg going down as a force of weight, but there's also a tension that's created by the resistance to rotation, which is the moment of inertia. Okay, so this, if I view it from uh, this point of view, that's what's happening. There's a bucket and there's mg, right? So there's T and mg. Now, the first point that you, sh you need to recognize is we need to take into account the moments of inertia, which means we need to take into account the torque, okay? So torque, which is going to be actually equal to T times R, is going to be equal to moments of inertia times by the rotationary acceleration. Okay, so that's uh, quite important. Now what, what we're interested in finding out is the acceleration. And how to find the acceleration? Well, we need to find the net force. Then net force is equal to ma, which is equal to mg minus t. Uh, if we rewrite this, we get tension is equal to this right now one thing to remember moments of inertia you can uh, see right here is equal to 1 over 2 mr squared and this rotationary acceleration is equal to a over r okay so if i were to combine this i get 1 over 2 mr squared times a over r divided by r so the r's are going to actually cancel out and we get 1 over 2 ma okay so let's plug those in. We get that ma is equal to mg minus 1 over 2 ma. If I were to isolate the m, I get that m plus 1 over 2 a is equal to mg. So acceleration is equal to mg divided by m plus m over 2. OK? Now, if we weren't able to get this, a hint or a tip is to first look at this problem and recognize that there is no R in it. Okay, so you need to somehow cancel out the Rs. There's also no um, rotationary acceleration, so you need to somehow change that, right? There's also no moments of inertia, I, so you need to somehow substitute that. So all of these are key to trying to prove this equation. Um, another thing is to write out all of the equations that you know. Um, all of the correlations and that will kind of spark an idea inside you. So the huge benefit of the IB problem is you're able to look at the question at uh, the um, formula booklet. And when you look at the formula booklet, usually that kind of idea will come to you. And if it doesn't, keep practicing until it does. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, B, the following data are available. Calculate the speed of the bucket when it has fallen a distance of 16 meters. Well, first, let's recognize that we need the acceleration, right? Without acceleration, I don't know what the velocity is. So let's first calculate acceleration. Acceleration, we got that it is equal to, um, acceleration is equal to mg over m plus big M over 2, right? So that's going to be equal to Five point six meters per second squared. Now, once we know the acceleration, all we need to do is do projectile motion question.
All right. And so next part, calculate the rate of change of the angular momentum of the cylinder. Okay, so remember that angular momentum. Remember that the change of angular momentum over change in time is equal to the torque, right? And we already calculated the torque because torque is equal to T times R. Right? So we already know, we already did this in part one. Um, we just have to calculate it. Okay? So remember that T is equal to 1 over 2 MA. Uh, if you don't know this, then go back to part, part A where we already derived that T is equal to 1 over 2 MA. Okay? A was 5.6. So torque is equal to 100.8 times by radius. Twenty point one six Newton meter, which is also the rate of change of angular momentum. Okay. All right, last part. The bucket in B is filled with water, so its total mass is now forty five kilograms. The bucket is raised at constant speed of two using an electric motor, calculate the power output of the motor, okay? Well, this is simple, um, this is simple, I think this is the one of the simplest part, is you have mg and you have, well, the pulling force, right? So let's call it F pull, whatever, right? That's done by the motor, okay? Now, the pulling force has to be equal to mg because we have a constant speed, right? So mg is equal to 45 times 9.81, 441.45 newtons, okay? Well, and we know the power is equal to Fv, so eight hundred and eighty-two point nine uh, watt. Put it in two sig fig, that is 880 what? And that's it. I hope you were able to do this problem. Doing, being able to do past paper problem is very, very essential to getting a six or seven, uh, especially seven in IB physics and IB math as well. Uh, so if, we, if you would like more practice problems like this, please visit our website at novaedgeacademics.com. Uh, we'll be doing more videos of walking you through these kind of problems and and hopefully you can follow us along. So I'll see you in the next video on relativity. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you find these really useful, then consider giving us a like and subscribing to our channel. For questions, leave them down below in the comment and we'll try to get back to you. For more academic resources, visit our website at novaedgeacademics.com. We offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring service as well as college admission strategy. Uh, let us know what you'd like us to cover next and we'll see you in the next video.